My last full day in northern Germany was packed with activities. As I had been eyeing the fjord for three days, I felt compelled to test the cold water. Ranka captured the moment for Instagram. You can eat rose petals? Yes. We headed over to Ranka's garden to pick edible rose petals and begonia blossoms to adorn the promised rhubarb cake she had made that morning. Fresh homemade, fresh picked rhubarb cake by Ranka Tessin at the Healing Berry Garden. Look at these gorgeous stalks of rhubarb. And check out this cake. Ranka's daughter dropped by to say hello. On the way to pick strawberries, I spotted a field of blue cornflowers, a bloom I had fallen in love with in England the week before. Ronka looks forward to picking strawberries from this pick-your-own field every year, and my visit happened to coincide with the strawberry harvest. in your mouth. Mm. Wow.
müssen da auf die, die Vermehrung auf einem sandigen Boden vollziehen. Und die Pflanzen werden alle zugekauft, kommen aus Schleswig-Holstein, Bad Bramstedt. You have been planting strawberries for 30 years. Yes, okay. I tell. Wir, wir machen diese Selbstflüge schon seit über 30 Jahren und sind in einem kleinen Feld angefangen. Und dadurch, dass die Sorten verschiedene Abreife haben, versuchen wir über verschiedene äh, Sorten, die verschiedene Reifegrade haben, äh, mm -hmm. die Saison zu verlängern. And this is a family operation, right? So is that familiar on him? Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Yes. Do you grow anything besides strawberries? Yes. Only strawberries? Nein, 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 nein. Wir haben, äh, wir haben Ackerbau. Äh, wir haben 150 Hektar Getreide, Raps und Mais. Und wir haben noch eine Sauenhaltung, 200 Sauen mit komplett Waschweinehaltung. Was, wo Sie noch verkaufen überall? Die Erdbeeren werden alle in der Region hier vermarktet. Wir haben 15 eigene Verkaufsstände in der Region, meistens immer in der Nähe von Supermarkt, wo wir sie dann anbieten. Kleine Geschäfte, Eiscafés bekommen welche, Küken, Großküken, aber alles direkt vermarktet. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I can't wait to try your strawberries. They look beautiful. Ja. Was ich? Was hat sie gesagt? Ich also sie sagt, das sieht wunderbar aus. Sie kann es gar ja. nicht erwarten, die alle zu essen heute. Ja, okay. Und vielen, vielen Dank, Heidi, ne, fürs ja. Interview. Ja. Okay. Eine zugekaufte Pflanze, Sonata, jetzt im Moment, die über Winter bei minus 3 Grad gelagert wurde. Weil sie muss hier ähm, der, der muss halt 1 cm Durchmesser haben. Das, mhm. das ist das Mindestmaß, was wir haben müssen äh, für eine gute Pflanze. Und diese liegt ja bei fast bei 2 cm. Ja, hier ist das eine ist Pflanze. So, ein Plan. One Plan. Plan. Okay. so, dass sie bis hierhin weg ist. Ja. Mhm. So, so, so weit weg ist ja. sie gesetzt. Aber das größte Problem ist is Root Rot. Right? Also bei unserem schweren Boden, den wir haben, haben wir ganz oft die Gefahr, dass diese Wurzeln mit einer roten oder schwarzen Wurzelfäule mit I left the next day, so Ranka made use of all these berries. On the way to the seashore, we spotted this roadside fresh herbs stand. The seagrass and seaweed Ranka uses in her compost washes up on the shore in abundance from the North Sea. We brought back a bucketful. This is a compost accelerator used by all biodynamic farmers on the earth. It's made of yarrow, stinging nettle, dandelion, chamomile, valerian, oak bark and a little bit of honey. It's a dilution 1 to 10,000, so it's clearly homeopathic. And we are going to inoculate my compost with it and it will be finished in 8 weeks. Normally it takes it to finish 8 months. And with this biodynamic concoction, it will be finished in eight weeks in summer, if it's summer and warm, of course. And I buy it, this concoction, I buy it, the, the herbs I buy from the nuns in a monastery here in Germany, who sell it and use it in their own garden too, in the monastery garden. Now, do you add that to the other stuff or do you just use that separately when it breaks down? Yeah, it's layered also here. And with grasses and with clippings of other kinds. Ah, okay. <laughs> Poking five holes into this compost, and then I will add the compost accelerator too. It's a homeopathic biodynamic compost accelerator, which also the biodynamic farmers use. Then it is diluted one to ten thousand, so it's clearly homeopathic. And if you add this to your compost, in the holes I have poked, and wait for a few weeks, maybe eight weeks, then you have finished compost and can put it on your raised bed. This weed is called celandine or swallowwort, and you can see it has a yellow sap. 
And if you put that on a ward, if you have a ward just like this, it will be gone in maybe two, three or four weeks. You have to do it daily and the ward will be gone. You said you're crazy about your compost. Yes, I really am. Yes, I love making compost. It's really sexy soil in the compost, as you once said, really. <laughs> After inoculating the compost and a light supper, we headed back to my apartment as the sun was setting on the water. The next day, I would be taking the train to Berlin.